it's Jason Shadwick with Premier Guitar, and we're at the Anaheim NAMM Show 2022. We're here with Justin from Two Notes, and we're going to be talking about your new Revolt analog, as opposed to digital, analog amp sim. Yeah. So, and that's what we heard on the intro. So kind of give us maybe a brief overview about what this is. So yeah, we're, we're primarily known as the Captor X Cab M, uh, Dynair Tech, uh, DSP driven backend for um, a lot of uh, different groups out there. So we wanted to do something a little different and build an end-to-end -end analog pedal. So what we did was, you know, if we're going to do it, we want to make sure we do it right. So we want to make sure that it, it feels like a real amp should feel and sounds like a real amp should sound. Uh, something that some of the digital counterparts sometimes struggle a little bit with. So just to kind of go from top to bottom, uh, the first thing I'll say is we, we have a true 200 volt uh, voltage going in there, uh, which is what a preamp tube really needs to be able to, to use the full dynamic range. And at the same time, it retains the feel of what you're used to in a tube-driven amplifier. Uh, if you use 9 volts or 12 volts that, that some other competitors have done way in the past or just groups have done in the past, it really doesn't give you that, that range to really make it work. It's almost like a, a little bit of a nightlight. So this really is critical to the, to the sound of the, the preamp. So it's three three channels basically, right? Correct. So walk us through maybe what was the inspiration for each channel? Absolutely. So we had um, three different amps in our lab in France. The first one was a Basement 100, uh, which is what our American Clean was derived from. We had uh, a, a Marshall Plexi, which is which our British Crunch was derived from. And there's a couple little tricks that that does that we added there as a little bit of a bonus feature. And then finally on the third channel we have a Saldano SLO 100. And what we did was we had the physical amps running into captors, running into our console. And then the prototype of this, or the original of this, became our A-B test. And it got to the point, literally, where we couldn't tell the difference from the original amps from, from the, uh, what we'd put in there. Let's start with the clean and give us kind of a, a brief uh, sound test for each side of it. Yeah, absolutely. So the American Clean, again, is a basement amp. So it responds like you would expect. Uh, you've got treble and bass controls, which are interactive. And then you have a gain and a volume control. So it's everything from the warm, you know, country type stuff to the R&B or whatever. It's a pretty yes, accepted sound as a clean thing, right? And, and also, just as an aside, that would make a really good front end for any kind of pedal board too. So if you had overdrive boxes you wanted to use in the front of that, the way the architecture is designed, it, it, it plays very well with that. And you have a loop on the back? Yeah. For so there's a couple things that we'll, we can get to. Is the, but the first thing to your point is, yes, there's an effects loop in there. And the effects loop is pre-output stage because we have a, an analog XLR out. So you can run all your effects, modulations, or delays, or reverbs, or whatever you want in the effects section and keep that isolated from the output. So you've kind of got a, a self-contained system. Now, there's, there's one important thing that I wanted to make sure that I point out. We said it's three channels, but there uh, is a boost circuit that we've designed that plays very well with, e with each of the different uh, amp sides. So as I said, it plays great with pedals in the front. We actually have a, a, a proprietary boost that we've built into each one of these. So let me let you hear how that one yeah. sounds. So, so first of all, it'll start out pretty mild, and it gets pretty grungy pretty quick. And again, you can turn that off and you're back to your clean channel. So that's a lot of variety just kind of in one, you know, one shot right there. So moving forward, the, the thing that with the Plexi that's pretty awesome is any from where from the gain from about zero to 10 o'clock, it's very reminiscent of, of the gain structure that you get from a Plexi and then cranking it up. Very ACDC-ish, right? And then anything past about 10 o'clock, it gets into definite like hot rotted plexi stuff. And then you can also add the boost circuit to that. So if that's not enough, uh, you can add more to that and get really. Sad. 
And it just kind of adds a nice crispness on the top without being brittle or abrasive. Yeah. Just gives you a little more punch. So just in that, we've kind of added, you know, four channels, you know, right there. And then finally, uh, going into the boost section, um, I'll turn the gain back a little bit, but that's inspired again off the SLO 100. So it's got tons of gain. Tons of saturation. So with all that, you've got like six channels all in there. And let me explain another thing that this does because we want to try to hit a few markets. The primary one being kind of the amp in the box. This is a self-contained solution. We know that a lot of people are going to integrate these into other digital solutions using other multi-effects. And that's why we put full MIDI implementation in the back. So if you're using uh, whatever effects box that's got MIDI, you can use all this as part of a complete system. Uh, or if an amplifier has MIDI, you can use that, you know, as big or small, you can control anything with it. But the other thing that I wanted to point out are a few of the features on the front. The first is the four cable method. And everybody's familiar with four cable method means as far as you run effects in the amp, you go out, you go into the effects box, you come back into the amplifier. What we mean by four cable method is this becomes an, uh, an amplifier extender. So if you had a single channel or a dual cha channel amplifier, it really doesn't matter that it has an effects loop. You can run this in the loop, and say you have a Marshall 800 amplifier. You've now gotten the, the Marshall preamp, but now you have three preamps and all the boost. And as soon as you hit the bypass of this, you're back to the Marshall preamp. So it's a great way to add a clean channel and, and extra flavors to any an existing amp. And then moving forward, we have an option that you can turn the cab sim on or off. Um, like right now, we're running it into our new genome software, so that's a great, just non-compensated way to, to get that signal balanced back into something. And then a couple other important features that people ask for are the auxiliary input, so you can put an MP3 player or whatever in there. And then uh, very important that people always get upset if you don't put as, an, as a headphone. All right, Justin, so we also make a bass version of this, kind of similar feature set, similar ins and outs, yeah. but the, the models obviously are different. Yeah, so the, the same functionality as far as the loop, the, the, the analog out, obviously the, the analog out is designed after a bass cabinet, not a guitar cabinet. Um, and then you have all the functions in the front. What's different about this is we the models are obviously different. You have uh, a vintage Ampeg on the classic clean. We have a, a Marshall Super Bass on the vintage dirt. And then we have a proprietary um, modern preamp style is what we'll call it for the, uh, the drive channel, or the modern drive channel. And then we did something very, um, interesting with this is we added a dry wet section so you can control the amount of clean blend back in there but but the thing that we wanted to make sure with all these is that they were holistic like they all the channels would work well together so it wasn't like you were in two different islands or two different planets when you'd switch on a different preset so they're, they're just kind of an evolution of each other but they play in the same same realm very well and like i mentioned same front control panel there with, with four cable and headphones yep. and same ins and outs on the back Correct. yep well yeah, yep. this one doesn't do the, the same kind of four cable method, but it's a base preamp. Gotcha. <laughs> so what will be the pricing and availability on these? That's a great, great question. These will be shipping in September, yep. uh, and the U.S. map on these is three ninety nine. dollars All right, we're going to have you play this out, Justin. Thanks for hanging with us. This is Jason Shadrick from Premier Guitar. Uh -huh.